Hi guys and welcome back to MD Tech. My name is Marco. This is your weekly fix of news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple and their competitors. It seems like we have some really, really awesome news. Earlier today, Bloomberg announced something that was already anticipated. Apple is planning to release computers with their own custom design processors. Based on prediction, it is estimated that the first Apple-made notebook chip will meet the light of the day till the end of 2020, or first half of 2021, which so far seems most likely. But here comes the best part of the article. Seems like we finally have first real, I mean really juicy details about the processors itself. According to sources from Bloomberg, the first Apple's very own notebook processor will be based on 5 nanometer design, the same as the ones that will be used in the upcoming iPhones and iPad Pros. While we are not certain about the exact frequency, the source claims it will be at least 12 core chip, which is insane. Similarly, the current Apple processor, this chip will consist of efficient and high performance processing units. In this case specifically, it is said that this chip will have 8 high performance cores codenamed Firestorm and 4 energy efficient cores known as iStorm. But that's not all. If you've seen my previous video, I mentioned latest rumors about potential return of 12 inch MacBook that apparently could launch in more or less same time. Now, if we just look and analyze the performance and efficiency of Apple's A12X and Z Bionics from 2018 or 2020 iPad Pros without any heat issues, I mean, we can only imagine what kind of processing power is on the horizon. This could also mean that new reborn MacBook 12 inch will pave the way for the next generation of vastly superior notebooks that will come in the future. The article also states that in some Macs, Apple designs will double or even quadruple the number of cores that Intel provides. If we look at the iPhones and iPads, designing their own chips worked perfectly for Apple. Making that transition with MacBooks looks like even more promising idea. That's it guys. And what are your expectations about the upcoming Apple's custom build chips? Please write in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you find this content interesting, please subscribe and don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.